the outside. Me and the sun. You guys already know I'm a whore. Look at these glasses I saw in there. Squeeze your cheeks a little bit. Smash that nut in between your crack. It's gonna be nice. I wanted to look like I feed myself. Don't tell anyone, please. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Stink. So we are doing a mic up gym fitness vlog s thing. So I'm pretty much gonna take you guys through my back and biceps workout with, you know, microphones and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like a lack of inspiration right now going in life. You know, a lot of you guys are asking me what this is. I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm trying to do the 75 hard-ish challenge, okay? And that being said, I'm not doing a workout outside. I don't fuck with the outside. Me and the sun, we are not friends. I don't know if it's because I'm black and other black people understand this, but like the sun, when it touches my skin, it just fucking sizzles. I'm not a fan, not here for that. So I will just be doing my hour and a half, two hour workout inside of the gym, but everything else is still the same as the rules apply. I failed this weekend. I was at the nail salon getting my nails done and there was like lollipops as you know you would expect. <laughs> You know, I grabbed like three of them, not thinking anything of it. I am chomping, munching, enjoying. And then it was like, boom, remembered. And I had already fucked the lollipops up. So then what did I do? I go on a bender. I'm like, I'm getting candy. I'm getting soda. I'm getting poke. I'm getting sushi. I'm getting pizza. Wings. I don't care what it was. I got it. So yeah, we're restarting. You know, an L is an L, but a win is a win. We're really looking forward to 76. My stomach is like starving. Okay, and you guys already know we are doing rice cake. I thought I got like normal rice cakes, but I got the white cheddar flavor. And honestly, I'm kind of anxious and excited about the flavor mashup between this and the honey. I'm excited. Cause I don't know, I feel like white cheddar, a little salty, a little cheesy with a little bit of sweetness. Like, I don't know, to me that feels like bop. Now again, if you are not eating breakfast before you work out, your mother is a whore. Okay, you need to eat something, okay? And I don't care if it's early as in the day. I don't care if you want to grow that butt but, but you want to shrink that waist, you want to widen that back, give the appearance of that hourglass figure, you need to eat. I'm serious. Y'all are going to make me put your hands on you. You guys are like my little baby kids right now. And I hate to say it, but it might be an abusive relationship. Respectfully, respectfully. I'm just joking. I love it. It looks so good. It smells kind of cheesy, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> I guess we talked about it. We did talk about it. I'm just gonna give this warning to everyone. Um, white cheddar rice cake with honey and salt is not good. I'm sorry to inform you. We are actually gonna do a quick lesson, okay? A one-on-one on Supplements. I feel like there are a lot of questions about them and I do want to give you guys the 401 I want to give you my most honest dearest opinion. Oxy greens. You don't fucking need these <laughs> I'm sorry and like I know I work with them But you don't need these if you're getting vegetables in your daily diet like you should be fucking fine now I mean if you're not which I wasn't for a really long time Then I would suggest taking it, it has pretty much your daily servings of greens inside of it But does it aid in bloating or any of these other things? I mean, I'm sure it helps right because like it helps with digestion which you know that helps you poo which you know does all that good stuff But I wouldn't be like this is the holy grail product that you need to spend your money on now when it comes to Oxy shred This is like their number one product and honestly they have so many flavors and a lot of them are pretty bomb It is considered a thermogenic fat burner and that is mostly because of the caffeine intake in here So I f with oxy shred I take it every day. I'm not gonna lie to you guys It does get it gets me hot and sweaty and you're gonna see after our workout just how intensely hot and you make me nervous. But yeah, so OxyShred, yes, I would recommend that you guys get that. It's a great option for pre-workout and you know, it's not too fucking crazy. You're just gonna feel good about yourself after you take it. Now when it comes to creatine, you guys already know I'm a whore. I'm completely feral for this product. I think that it has done absolute wonders for my body, for my physique. If your goal is to build lean muscle mass and burn fat, take it. If you're in a cut, take it. If you're in a bulk, take it. I have been taking it for over a year. I have never been stronger. I have never looked more fit. I have never felt better in my lifts, in my performance in the gym until I started taking this supplement. Now, do you need creatine? Fuck no, brother. 
Really? You don't need creatine, okay? You don't. Just like you don't need any of these supplements, okay? But the whole point of supplements are to supplement what you're already doing. So are these gonna fucking work if you're not doing your part? No, they're not, okay? These aren't miracle fucking products. But I promise you that if you're consistent in your exercise and you're consistent in your nutrition and you add these in here, you're gonna be a unit for our pre-workout cocktail first off let's give a shout out to barbie that movie was fantastic uh literally 9.8 out of 10. i would kiss greta girl rick you know i wouldn't say that i'm usually into women but for her i would definitely make an exception margot robbie too i don't know if this made any sense this is me and this is like other people <laughs> i'm a unit i will now be assuming this as my entire personality so all right and then acetyl al corn quarantine quarantine i don't know how to say this you guys already know <laughs> like i said if you come for me i am coming for your mom and no she can't hold up a fight you want to know why because i'm going for the knees she's gonna buckle then i'm going for the throat and then i'm going for a kiss that sounds like sexual assault i'm sorry i'm gonna get consent and then i'm gonna go for the kiss but the other stuff is definitely happening oxy shred actually already has this in it okay but like i kind of like to add a little double portion because i wanted to you know do double the job in our pre-workout cocktail also i want to give a shout out to luke he's my british friend we like to practice well he doesn't have to practice because that's just his accent, but I like to practice in front of him. He gets very annoyed at me, but he puts up with it, so I'll look. All right, so we are doing a scoop and a half of creatine. Now, the reason why I'm doing a scoop and a half of creatine now is because when I was taking five grams, like initially, that worked wonders for your body. Now, I have worked my way up to taking around seven grams because my body is just responding better than that. Now, the whole thing about like supplements and, and dosage, like you have to think that your weight, your muscle mass, your fat mass, your gender, all of that is going to take into accountability. If I was you and you were just starting off with a supplement, I would recommend taking between two to five grams you know but if you've been on this bitch for a minute and you're not seeing any more changes up it don't tell anyone just just up it see what happens going to be fun someone needs to invent how to get like scoopers out with like putting my whole hand in the supplement because i have contaminated this <laughs> especially when you first open it and you're just like taking around it's gross it's got cookies in it all right i'm gonna do a singular scoop of a cnl contain and i'm gonna do a scoop of the oxy shred mojito non-stem now i'm doing the non-stem because i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm gonna get another pre-workout i really want another one and so i don't want to put like double the stem in me you know that sounded kind of gross <laughs> all right oh yeah that's not mixed enough at all. It was quite chunky. I felt like I was chewing it for half a second. So make sure you mix it properly. Autobots. Roll out. We roll. So remember how I said I was taking non-stem because I want to try a different pre-workout? I'm at the 7-Eleven. Apparently they only accept cash right now, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me. But I don't have any cash, so I'm gonna go and steal. They're having a two for five. I feel like it would just make more sense for me. Nah, I'm not getting two. I don't need to. I don't need to. I ended up getting two. I'm sorry. I know I said I wasn't gonna do, but I did. But guys, look at these glasses I saw in there. Who the fuck am I? I literally look like, <laughs> I look like the gym I'm about to go to, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Palm colored brother. What bear? We're trying to show these people what white power is all about. I don't know. If you guys don't get it, you don't get it. But the girlies who do get it, <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> Guys, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm trying to act like I'm cool, but I'm not cool right now. This is my like first mic'd up, and like obviously like you're sitting here having a conversation with yourself, and it might be kind of weird, but really I'm having a conversation with you guys, which is why we're getting intimate. Honestly, wearing a sweatshirt to the gym, awful idea. I live in Florida, hot as a bitch. Now listen, if you're not warming up, your mother's a hooker, and it explains it all, so I don't blame you. But you know, if you want to prove your mother's innocence, you'll warm up. I'm already getting anxious, like I want to take off the pump cover. I feel like I have something to prove in here, because obviously I got like a Oh my fucking camera set up. I let these bitches know I'm a muscle mommy. I'm doing it. I would literally get intimate with someone right now. Listen, volunteer in the comments. We are getting into these warm up sets, guys. You know, I kind of like to get like a nice little squeeze up there, you know? I'm trying to like smash a peanut in my shoulder blade. It's gonna be nice. I promise, guys. Right, I'm gonna put like a baby 25 on there. I don't know why I'm acting like this probably isn't my work inside. But I wouldn't be in the dishes. Guys, I had someone ask me, they were like, oh, like, how is it not so embarrassing for you to record yourself in the gym? It absolutely is embarrassing. Like, right now I'm trying to act like I'm not freaking out inside, but I definitely am. Do you wanna know what? These people don't pay my fucking bills. Guys. <laughs> 
Her name is Nicole. She just came up to me in the gym and she was just so sweet and she came up to me and she was like, hi Stinky. And I thought I was taking up her machine. I was like, damn, do I smell? And I was like, oh, she watches my fucking videos and she was just so sweet and so nice. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pumped the f up. Like I could literally make everything weird right now. Like if someone came up to me, I would fucking fondle them, touch them. Everything with consent, of course. I scouts on her, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. So we got four sets of eight to 10 reps. Squeeze your cheeks a little bit. Smash that nut in between your crack. It's going to be nice. <sighs> it sounds like I'm having sex, like gross sex. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I forgot that I was doing this. Let's get weird. Let's get, let's get interesting. If you really think about driving that elbow back, you're gonna get the best contraction on your back. Now listen, all right? Now before you attack me on this, okay? Cause I know how it looks, all right? It's not a good look for me. It makes me look like, you know, I'm one of those people, oh, I'm recording the gym and someone walked past my camera. Okay, that's not what it is, okay? But my issue with it is that that camera was so close to me. I have a wide angle lens. That camera was so close to me. I left the entire path, the actual path, left it wide open. I felt him brush past me, okay? That's why I was like, when I look back, I'm like, now what in the fuck? And I'm like, okay, well maybe he's old, right? Maybe he's old and he's cute and he's fragile and he just, you know, it, it is what it is. But then I look back at him and he gave me a super dirty look, man. He gave me a dirty look and I was like, I don't feel good right now. I don't feel good. A lot of old people are lovely. Some of them are fucking horrible. That's what it is. I just have to let them know that I'm an ally, okay? I truly think that if I start screaming white power, like they will accept me into their clan. If I just start wearing the white power sunglasses, you know, I don't have to say anything. It's unspoken. But I don't know. Some people can be really hateful sometimes because like, it already takes a lot of like pride and like confidence to kind of come out here with a camera and a mic, you know, so that you can help others. Like, you know, fuck that. All this technology. Let's go back to the 1870s. Those are the good old days. Just joking. Not my pants getting stuck. You guys can't see this, my pants are stuck. I was watching like one of Ben's videos and she just talks about how like there are multiple different ways to progressively overload. And one of them, which I commonly use is tempo. Slow that tempo down and see if you think you can go up and wait at that same tempo. I promise you, your butt's gonna physically hurt, okay? It's gonna feel like it got touched intimately in the, in the ass crack. Oh yeah, that bitch hurts. <sighs> All right, guys, we have finally made it to boy sets. Now, if you guys haven't tried a 21, you're too young. Just joking. That was a stupid joke. Oh my god. I could take a shit right now for sure. I could get I could get dirty in the bathroom. I could make people mad at me for sure. Something heinous is coming out of me and I don't know if it's anger or my poop that is trying to turtle its way out of my pants. You're doing like alternating bicep with the camera curls really. And you're just gonna whack them out with 20s. You know what, f it. Grab a 50. Because we are diesel unit-esque women. So, I mean, honestly, I don't even know why I'm going this hard on my back end. Bicep day, like I'm definitely trying to minimize my upper body gains. I just can't help it. I just come in here and I'm like, let's get shredded. That was more satisfying than sex. Listen here, guys, I put on the hoodie for this cardio because I want to be dripping bullets, okay? I want it to look like I peed myself, you know, or that like I've secreted an unusual amount of fluid to my armpits. Because I feel like if I don't, like, did I really do cardio? Probably not. That was embarrassing. I said all that and this man was looking at me when I said it. But I don't care. I can't care, not with this profession. This would be a beautiful time to tell you guys about what happened with my apartment. So, as you know, I was overly obsessed with apartment four, and of course, as soon as we got home, like, we applied, okay? But they denied us. And the reason why they denied us is because they did not count any of my income because I am self-employed. You know, I'm an online coach, I do social media, and they're like, yeah, it's not, you know, they weren't saying it wasn't a job, but I also didn't have an LLC, so I couldn't prove that all the payments going into my account were illegal. But y'all, I prayed on it. I prayed on it. You know, my, my roommate went out of her way to try to figure some stuff out, get some of her family on the lease. You know, this place was like the perfect distance between her medical school and the gym that I'm currently at. Find the oh, my glasses. But yeah, I mean, it was like the perfect distance. And so I'm like, I'm not giving up on this place. I'm just, I just refuse to give up on this place. So we did everything that we could. And we were literally playing tag with the rental office. Like, I mean, day after day. And at first, like, I didn't think we were, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get it because they were like, oh, like, you know, technically you guys have to wait 30 days before you reapply after being denied. But I sent her in. I was like, hey, I'm in the army. You know, both me and my roommate have great credit. I mean, you guys see the deposits I've been making in my account. Like, I, I think it's unfair that we're being denied, you know, for insufficient income when that's just like not the reality and we're great you know we're great renters so yeah this is what i did and you guys should apply this to 
like almost every aspect of your life, okay? Listen, if you do your part, what is meant to happen will happen. And so I went, I paid a shit ton of money for an LLC because I needed to get it expedited. And I opened up a business banking account, you know, so I could start creating some, some business history. And I was like, hey God, like, you know, I have done my part. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying that I get this. And if I get it, great. You know, I guess it was meant to be. And if I don't, that's okay. Because if we hadn't done everything that we did and just like accept the denial, then we wouldn't have gotten the apartment. But because we did our part, you know, and I prayed on it, we were rewarded and I am forever grateful for that. And so whenever it comes, you know, to you working out or in the gym and stuff and you don't like the results that you're seeing or you're not seeing results, you know, and you're like, oh, like, why do I look like this? Why do I do this? Blah, blah, blah. And you're saying, woe is me. I need you to remember to ask yourself, are you doing your part? Because if you're not doing your part, then I don't, you shouldn't be complaining. You know, being healthy, being fit, mentally, physically, spiritually, like all that stuff requires work, man. And if you're not willing to put it in, you know, don't complain where you're at. It is not easy. It's not meant to be easy. It is the path less walked. And sometimes that journey can feel lonely, but the places that you want to go, the places that you want to be, it's going to be a lonely path. And you have to be willing to accept that. You know, the good things in life are never easy. But yeah, that's my, that's my TED talk. I'm literally dying. You know, whatever little bit of makeup I put on today said f me. So anyway guys, this is your sign to get oxy shred. I can literally hear my stomach talking sexually to me and I'm, you know, she's mad that I'm ignoring her and I don't want to feel like feel like she's being ignored. What's going on dudes? We are done with our workout. I don't know why. But honestly, I think I'm just extremely hungry and it took everything in their mom for me not to get, you know, a $20 meal at that calf. I stared at it. I stared at the vending machine. I stared at my f***ing phone. I looked at my credit card. <laughs> I was like, you know, we could do it. We could we could sacrifice but no we have goals because i'm trying to be absolutely shredded not like shredded but like thick shredded you know like still where i got some meat on me not that type of meat you dirty dirty piv like enough where you know i would still be considered you know slim thick okay i fuck with the cover-up look like y'all with it it's like hey surprise <laughs> i'm diesel i'm a unit i'm coming for your mom i already kissed your brother on the neck i made him feel weird <laughs> he will need therapy for the next few years and no i'm not sorry about it now i'm gonna take a shower i know you guys want to see me naked again i've been instructed not to do that you're welcome few moments later i'm back i missed you guys i really did miss you guys don't tell anyone please <laughs> don't tell anyone <laughs> Guys, I am so hungry, like it's not even funny. I could eat a bear and like baby bears too and I don't think I would feel bad about it. That's how hungry I am. I'm gonna eat what I consider to be a bear. I'm having a steak salad. Yummy, yummy. And I'm gonna take you guys with me through this journey because I'm gonna show you how to volume eight. Prioritizing protein while also getting in a whole bunch of grains and veggies. It's going to be quite nice. Now listen, if you don't know how to cook a steak, it's not my problem. This has literally been my freaking favorite meal like of the day. I'm having it right now because we are going to the movies today and I don't want to eat a lot of carbs because I am going to get popcorn. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm going to let this pan heat the up. And then we're going to get a semblance. You're going to grab your bowl. This is just kale, cilantro, lime juice. I cut it up, put it in this container, and then I've just been eating from it every day. Super easy, okay? The only thing I have to worry about prepping is my freaking steak. So you can use as much as you want. The amount of calories in here is minuscule. If I'm feeling hungrier, I just put some more in there. I usually use like a bigger bowl, but another fellow fitness gal commented, and she was like, why are you eating out of a dog? I almost threw my salad across the goddamn room. I'll show you what it looks like. First glance, I was like, oh, it's just like a metal bowl. And then I'm like looking back at the pictures that I was posting. And I was like, yeah, I could see how that looks like a dog bowl. I don't usually do this. Mama put a little bit of grapes in there. I personally enjoy fruits inside of my salads. I know people aren't really into that, but I'm, I am into it. What I've realized since transitioning to eating a lot of produce is that you have to actually can eat it <laughs> or it goes bad, which is just so annoying. This is pissing me off. Honestly, I'm gonna throw all these strawberries away after this. They're not looking appetizing anymore. They're looking quite dry. Now I've got my strawberries in there. I pre-made these pickled onions. It's literally... Oh, that's right, I forgot I put pepper in there. I was like, what are those black dots? Made me nervous. I just like my salads to look like they have as much color as possible. Cause that makes me feel like I'm doing something right. I don't know if it's true. There we go, look at this salad. Is this going to focus on the fucking salad? There we go. Boom! I also have this avocado. It's already getting kind of gross. Oh God. I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like because it's a bit brown. Then I'm gonna use one ounce of cheese. So I literally just put my salad like on the scale and then once it says one ounce, I'm done pouring. You know, and one ounce of cheese is actually a lot. 
I know, she's cute. But then imagine when I put the steak on there. And then for salad dressing. <clears throat> I'm using this sugar-free Italian dressing. It's literally 60 calories per serving, and I usually only need like one, one and a half serving. I was doing two thinking that that's what I needed, but it ended up just being too saucy. I don't like that, you know? I don't like that. So now I took the steak off after basting it a little bit. I'm gonna like let it rest for like a minute or two, and then I'm gonna chop that bitch up and put it on my salad. I cooked it too long. I cooked it too long. This is just atrocious. It's supposed to be vegan, is it? It's still good though. All right, this is the final product. I didn't go exactly as planned, but that's okay because I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to eat it and be grateful. Guys, guess where I'm going? It's not hard. Do the movies. I can't believe you go to the movies by yourself. You're not. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. The reason why I don't give a is because I literally pull out a camera, a full-size camera with mics, a whole tripod in the middle of a packed gym. I know people aren't worried about me. Listen, I love myself so much that I will, I will treat her to whatever she wants. I will get intimate with her. I will take her on dates. I'll rub her feet because I love her. I do this every Thursday because I just genuinely fuck with it, man. Like I don't even want to see anything. I just want to get out the house. Going to the gym, doing regular day shit like that is like some of the best parts of your day. You know because you get to get out the house you get to get out of your own thoughts and so yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah I'm gonna take myself on a date I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna put makeup on for little stuff like that because it brings me joy I don't care what other people think let me rephrase that let me redact that okay I do care what people think unfortunately those are thoughts us as human beings we can't stop okay but now what the I'm not gonna do is let what other people think deter what I do. Am I gonna let those thoughts stop me from doing me? Absolutely not, brother. Same thing with taking yourself on a date. A lot of people aren't comfortable with taking themselves on a date because thinking about what other people are thinking. Um, babe, order the salmon, get the lobster. It's okay, no one cares. And the people that do care have nothing better to do with their lives. See, when I see someone going out by themselves, the only thoughts that are going through my head are like, wow, that's like one strong, powerful woman. Because I know it's not easy, okay? I know it's not easy to be comfortable enough with your own company to go and do things like that. I got this cup like the last two times I went to the movie, so I'm just gonna see if I can, you know, just fill it up, you know, without them saying anything. Fish me like. I think I'm just like surprised right now that like people are still haven't seen this movie. It's been like three weeks, and you guys know what I'm talking about because its followers are identified by wearing pink. Okay, and, and trust me, I'm a follower, so you don't get that shit twisted. I bought the whole limited edition cup, so I can't talk any shit, but I'm just surprised you haven't seen it yet. I saw somewhere someone was like, oh yeah, like Barbie is white people's Black Panther. I couldn't have said it any better. You know what I just thought about? I just, I'm going back to my car to go grab a sweater because I realized that I'm bringing in a camera into the movie theaters and it might look like I'm trying to record the film and I just don't want anyone to just make me want to cry so I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve the problem myself okay we're gonna sneak you in guys regret to report we have been called they will not let me bring this in hookers that movie was trash that is all for this week's video guys okay i wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic but what can you do okay so if you haven't already please like and subscribe if not i feel like i don't even need to threaten anymore but that little niece that you fuck with she's done okay i'm spitting on her and then i'm gonna give her a big fat kiss on the head Dame la comida, buena chicha.